And for the man of the hour, Mr. Joe Mez. Greetings, how y'all doing this evening? As I said, I'm Joe Mez. I got three kids, one of my own and two from my wife's previous victim. I realize kids change you. They actually do. They change how much money you have in the bank. They change how much you could drink. They change what you can watch on the TV and the movies. And if I hear Let It Go one more time, I'm gonna fucking kill somebody. But more importantly, they change how much you can fuck your wife. But we found a solution for this. We use Vaseline on the doorknob. Now they can't get in. You know, a couple months ago, my wife bought, you know, those sex coupons, you know, for a free blowjob, anal, tire up in the corner for a couple hours. They were fine. They were pretty fun. But we got invited to an orgy a couple weeks ago, and I couldn't find a Groupon anywhere for that at all. You know, my wife wanted a role play. Okay, we'll think of a new one. How's this? We'll do fast food. I'm going to be the king, and I'm going to have you my way. Yeah, baby, I got your Whopper. But then she goes, well, I'm going to play Wendy. What? Where's the beef? You know, uh, we, we always like trying something new. We were trying those anal beads. Uh, they went for, they, she enjoyed it. You know, put them in. She enjoyed that, that part. Until I didn't realize that you're supposed to take them out slowly. I took him out so fast, it almost sounded like a chainsaw. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. It was just, she didn't really enjoy it that much afterwards. You know, I was doing some research actually last night. And the um, company, Hamilton Beach, in 1902, p uh, patented the first electric vibrator. Probably using the new company mo logo. If we build it, they will come. You know, I don't know if you guys heard, but there's been, they were making these new flavors of condoms. One of the flavors I heard recently was bacon. Now, I could see this being really big in the gay community. The downside is, it probably tastes like shit afterwards. <laughs> Bill Gates, <laughs> if you haven't heard, Bill Gates has actually put up $100,000 for someone to make the next gener generation condom. I wouldn't use it, would you? Would you use a condom from a guy who called his company Microsoft? And Microsoft is so well known for their virus protection. It probably ended up blue screening your balls. You know, I, I needed some underwear a couple weeks ago. We went to the store. It took us a while, but I found one that I like. I like the way they fit, I like the way they feel. We're about to check out. And my wife goes, well, now that we're done with that, now let's go for underwear in the men's section. <laughs> a couple years ago, I went to a therapist. And... She actually told me that I was sane. Figure the odds. But um, after that, I questioned her credentials. After doing a little bit of research, I found out she was more delusional than I was. She ended up being a homeless dude, a dog walker, a barber in London, and a man. Wow. You know, uh, co uh, I got a speeding ticket the other day, and the officer told me, well, did you see the sign that said 35 miles an hour? Well, yes, I did, officer but my therapist said I shouldn't take advice from inanimate objects. And signs, too. You know, a good couple years ago, my mother-in-law was in the hospital. Uh, don't worry, she's fine now, but who gives a shit? <laughs> hey, don't laugh, I'm serious. She's insane, she's crazy. She's got the little note and the medicine cabinet to prove it. No shit, but she actually, at one point, threatened to carve my youngest stepson like a Christmas turkey. No, she's insane. But that's besides the point. At this point, she was still in the hospital. And they had these really cool beds, you know, the old electronic. I looked at the buttons like, okay, move up and down. That's normal. Nurse, massage. And there's this button that said therapy. What the hell is therapy? So I decided to wait until she was sleeping. And I hit this button. And all of a sudden, the bed started moving up and down, bouncing, going side to side. When things started coming down, the doctors and nurses are coming in. I'm thinking like, yeah, I feel a lot better now. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I've come to the realization, Skrillex is not a musician. He's a scrapbooker. He takes little bits and pieces of music and glues them together with Pro Tools. That's not music. That's called scrapbooking. My grandmother's scrapbooks, and she's probably a better musician than he is, and she's been dead for 20 years. Wow. Yeah, <clears throat> for those who don't know, I was actually in the Navy. After being in the Navy for four years, four months, eight days, and 17 hours, <laughs> I realized Navy is an acronym. 
It actually stands for something. It stands for never again volunteer yourself. Never again. You know, when my um, wife found out we were pregnant with our child, she asked, how could this happen? We were being really careful about this. Well, my dear, I was in the Navy. My dad was in the Navy and the Coast Guard Auxiliary. My dad's father was also in the Coast Guard Auxiliary. And my, grand, my mom's father was in the Italian Navy. I just come from a long line of seamen. You know, um, a couple years, uh, I hate AT&T. I really do. They talk my parents to getting an iPhone, which means I have to teach my parents how to use this damn iPhone. So I'm teaching my parents how to use that damn iPhone of theirs, and I told them to hit the home button. They look at me blankly like, well, what do you mean the home button? It's that big round button on the bottom, Mom. Oh, you mean this belly button. Yes, Mom. Hit the belly button. And when you need to charge your phone, you take that charger and shove it straight up its ass. You know, recently I found this app for my phone where you try to unlock it and you get the wrong password. It takes your picture. Unfortunately, the other day I got really drunk and now I have 30 pictures of my drunk ass fucking trying to unlock my fucking phone. <laughs> and I can't even read my own fucking notes. Okay. <clears throat> you know, when I was growing up, my dad worked for Hanna Barra in the cartoon industry and we used to talk to each other in cartoon voices. I remember one particular Saturday morning, my dad went to me... <clears throat> Hey, Boo Boo Bear. Oh, what do you want now, Daddy? Your mama was right. Oh, what do you mean? You were a Boo Boo. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks. You know, I've always wanted to do cartoon voices and voiceovers. I talked to this voiceover artist a couple years ago. He told me that I had to learn to sing in that particular cartoon voice. So, one drunk at karaoke night, I decided to do Bob Dylan's Mr. Tambourine Man in the voice of Bullwinkle the Moose. It sounded something similar to this. <clears throat> hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play that song for me. When I was done, someone came up to me and was like, wow, you did a great Bob Dylan imitation. <laughs> oh, shit, they do sound alike. Let's try this song. <clears throat> you must be feeling all alone. Everybody must get Bullwinkle. Oh, shit, that does work. How about Yogi planning to do a porno? <clears throat> hey, Boo Boo Bear. Hey, what are you going to do now, Yogi? I'm going to film a porno with Daisy Bear. Really? Well, ooh, what are you going to call it? Twigs and berries, Boo Boo. Everything a good bear should eat. <laughs> Can I be in your porno, Yogi? No, you cannot, Boo Boo. Your dick is about the size of a midget circumcised squirrel. Fuck you, Yogi. <laughs> you know me, Boo Boo. I'm longer than the average bear. All right, that's about my time. I'm going to leave you with this. <clears throat> Heavens to Mugatroid. My time is up. Exit stays right. Actually, it's left. <laughs> Y'all have a good evening. I'm Joe Mez. <laughs>